brought to you by GTA. We start with you. I plan to, yes, and I plan to uh, be at the Adelope also rally. MAGA hog at Lou Leon Guerrero saying she's in for the Fenogi March for Tomorrow Self-Determination. The governor echoing the KUAM some sentiments that the federal court ruling that essentially delivered what could be a killing blow to Chamorro self-determination is actually a blessing in disguise. I think the Dave Davis case uh, sort of um, spurred the um, interest and the um, attention for our self-determination uh, efforts. And uh, of course, it's, uh, it's, the, the decision wasn't very um, acceptable to a lot of the people. Um, and we're going to just look at what our options are and our opportunities. But definitely, we are going to continue with the progress that we have made since uh, I have taken office. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals affirmed a District Court of Guam ruling that found a Chamorro only vote violated Dave Davis's constitutional rights. The governor tells KUAM the court ruling does not signify an end to her administration's efforts on a vote to determine what political status the island's native inhabitants want for Guam. I'm very committed and very um, um, attentive to making sure that we do move forward with our self-determination. Um, the White House, of course, is very uh, uh, aware that that's happening. Fanogi March lead organizer and former Guam delegate Dr. Robert Underwood says the march is a statement to Guam's elected leaders. Underwood is saying the march will be the biggest nonpartisan political event Guam has ever seen. While the court ruling is preventing the ongoing registration of native inhabitants for the political status plebiscite, other decolonization efforts are moving full steam ahead including a decolonization conference to be held in September, a study on status option pros and cons, and a political status education campaign. The governor, meanwhile, says she has the right man to lead the way in Commission on Decolonization Executive Director Melvin Wampat Borja. He has a wealth of information, very intelligent, and uh, very much aware of the various statuses and a lot of the history of our uh, efforts. And so he's a great asset, I think, to my administration in pursuing the Commission on Self-Determination and Decolonization. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.